In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit, Amen. This is Father Deacon Angel Palacios from the Mission of St. Andrew in Tijuana, Baja California, Diocese of Mexico of the Orthodox Church in America. The Gospel is for the 3rd of December, 2018, according to St. Matthew. It is enough that you say it. When Jesus entered Capernaum, a centurion approached him and appealed to him, saying, Lord, my servant is laying at home paralyzed, suffering dreadfully. He said to him, I will come and cure him. The centurion said in reply, Lord, I am not worthy to have you enter under my roof. Only say the word and my servant will be healed. For I too am a man subject to authority, with soldiers subject to me. And I said to one, Go, and, the, and he goes, and to another, Come here, and he comes, and to my slave, Do this, and he does it. When Jesus heard this, he was amazed and said to those following him, Amen, I say to you, In no one in Israel have I found such faith. I say to you, Many will come from the east and west, and will recline with Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob at the banquet in the kingdom of heaven. Glory be to thee, O God, glory be to thee. In the Roman See, they like to propose Peter as the quintessential apostle. But the Lord says, referring even to him, in no one in Israel have I found such faith. What is the centurion saying today? Suffice to say, to be said by you, my Lord, and it will be done. Nowadays, we have so many maladies, so many illnesses. We are looking for the psychiatrists, for the therapists, for the psychologists. We are looking for all sorts of healers. And we would love to find someone that is a miracle healer. But we don't turn to God. Being as it is that God created you and me. We forsake Him. We forgive about Him. We forget about Him. Um, and we really need to turn around and look for him. Not only mentally, as this great apostolic see that has apostatized from the true church, Rome has done. They are teaching their subjects that the belief in your mind is enough to be saved. And then you have all these brother Protestants saying the same thing, that you have to believe with your mind, that is, to accept a certain truth. That is not at all what faith is. Faith is about having trust. Faith is about being faithful. If you trust, God will heal you. He will heal you from your addiction. He will heal you from whatever it is your addiction is. And this is very, very wide. Addiction to sex, addiction to substances, addiction to work, addiction to, uh, to spending money, you name it, that's an addiction. And those, most of those are caused by devils, by demons. And they w you will not be cured by any medicine or a psychiatrist or, or, or a psychologist, because psychologists will only deal with what's on top, with what's on surface, on the surface. You have to go deeper into your heart, deeper into your soul, where only God can touch you. So if you really want to be healed, you have to start trusting God and you have to start being faithful to Him. Let us pray, dear brothers, that the Lord today shines His face on each of us, that at least give, He would give us the deep desire to become trustworthy and faithful with Him. 